there's my sister, guys. She's so pretty. It smells divine. All right, Ash. Let's go up. Oh, I know. It's so pretty as rice. Hold on, I don't want to no trip. Oh, wow. It's more tables. And there's the... Look at that. Really? Let me see the story. It was celebrated as a tree? Okay. So this must be for when it gets busy. Let's see the deck, Ash. Oh. Why? Oh, it's beautiful. They don't have any tables set up. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, you can never smell the pizza oven. Look at the view. My sister's nervous of the deck, so. Look at the bells. Their bell collection, eh? Isn't that stunning? It's so pretty. Wow. I like this though. I know. This right here. Isn't that nice? Isn't that so pretty? That's a really nice idea. Oh yeah. Here. Guys, and that we got our replacement dog. plum tree right there. And look at these three flower bushes. They are perennials. And you don't even know how divine these smell. Okay? So I'll, I'm going to put a tomato Ew, thingy. It's a fly. Aren't they beautiful? Like oh, this one and this one are the same, just different colors then. No, different petal shape too. But oh, they really? have the inside part. That's the only thing that's the same. So you guys, these ones are perennials. They're gonna come back. This one, look at how, that's They're just divine. And this is the replacement plum, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you drooling? Cause I sure am. Excuse me. So you guys, we are going to do a taste test of something I picked up at a little tiny French bistro. They are incredible. These are called, not macarons. What's it called? Look, it's rainbow color. How sweet. Listen to the crunch. Mmm. What are these called? Meringues. There are 50,000. Oh. All right, guys. So I have some desserts from today that I'm so pumped to try. I know this here is a brownie and it looks divine. Look how good that looks. And then this was like a dark chocolate. I don't know, but it looks so good. 
And this is a like a layered chocolate caramel cake. I just wanted a layered chocolate cake, but they didn't have it. So let me just do a taste test. Hold on. Okay. Are you doing your taste test, Boo? No, I'm not doing taste test. Okay, well, I'm going to do mine. Let's do this cake first. It's dangerously hot still. We just watered. So it's chocolate cake, and then I think it's like a moussey icing that has chocolate and caramel. So let's do a smell first. Hold on. I was hoping it would smell like dark chocolate. It doesn't. There's not a lot of smell to it. Oh, wow. It's actually better than what I thought. Mmm. Whatever this icing is here, it's so airy. It's definitely like a chocolate mousse icing. Oh. It's very light and creamy and chocolatey. Mmm. Let's get into this thing. I asked her if this was gelatin at all because I don't like the jelly things. And she said it was something dark chocolate cake, so... What's that look like? Okay. Let me smell this one. You see the cocoa powder on it? This one smells really chocolatey, so I wonder. Let's just do a taste test now. Okay. Oh, boy. Holy crud. Oh, this is... I'm sorry. She said it was dark chocolate and espresso like coffee and holy crap it is creamy it's not a cake texture it's more like a creamy rich and there's such a good coffee flavor in here oh my heavens this will be good with a cold ice cold glass of milk do you see the texture man this is divine mmm yum Dark chocolate and coffee. That's a hit right there. Now let's try this brownie. Look at that. It looks really rich and chocolatey. Let's smell it. Okay, this smells divine. This has the best smell. Hmm. Oh. Okay. At first... It had a very dry, crumbly texture, but as I kept chewing, it got to like a rich, chewy texture, and I like a chewy brownie, so it got both worlds, the people who like it dry and the people who like a chewy brownie like me. Um, it's not disappointing. This is actually freaking amazing. Whoa. And I love the chunks of chocolate chips here. They're dark chocolate. This is really good. Wow. Yummy. So, I'm going to rate it in order of what my taste buds prefer. Honestly, shockingly, this is number one. Because I absolutely love that mousse icing. The cake is very moist and soft and it's not sickening. This, you can only have a few bites. That will be put in the fridge for tomorrow because... It's so rich. It's very, it's divine. You can really, it's hitting home because I love dark chocolate and coffee. And this hits home, but I would say one fourth of this would be a portion, like a forkful. And then that's good. This brownie is divine. If I wouldn't have this, I would eat that whole thing. But because I have this, I'm going to eat this tonight. I think I'm just going to save this and that for tomorrow. It'll be kept good in the fridge. It won't dry out. But I got to say, they're all 10s. 10 out of 10s. Like, I thought, okay, I might be disappointed by something. I wasn't sure about this, but that ended up being my favorite. This, I would say, I can't pick. Like, they're so, all of them are home runs. And I genuinely mean that because if it wasn't, I would be honest and say, I wouldn't recommend this or I don't like that because of why. But I love all three. But this is what I'm in the mood for tonight right there. So I'm really happy with this find because that's rare where all the desserts are home runs. But usually I get like a cheesecake and a Ferrero Rocher thing. And this time I went with all dark chocolate. That was my mood. And they did not disappoint.
So I'm very, very grateful. Are you digging for gold, Coco? Coke? Are you digging for gold? Did you find anything good? Hmm? Did you find anything? Oh. Good morning. It's going to be another hot scorcher day, guys. And I am over here in the kitchen making a meal for a family potluck. I had two carrots left, so I'm using them. I'm going to cook my carrots first, then I'm going to add in the rest of the vegetables. So I'm doing a homemade rice, but it's going to be a very healthy, flavorful, refreshing rice. There's lots of vegetables. It's going to be like stir fry vegetables in with the rice. And we're going to do it as a garlic rice. It's going to have so much flavor and deliciousness and everybody's going to love it. Um, what I'm, what I'm doing, and I have my compost right here. So next I'm doing, um, wait, an onion. So we love onion and it adds so much beautiful flavor to any type of stir fry. And I cook the onion this way by boiling it. And it just comes out to be the best way. We love our onion with this dish. Because you know, if you cook onion, in butter on your pan, it has such a, a different taste than if you're boiling your onion, but this really does add to the flavor that I want. So, and I cut it pretty chunky. You guys can see that's pretty chunky. But yep, this is a gonna be a really flavorful, refreshing dish. It's not gonna be heavy. It's gonna be great. And then I have this much left of green pepper. So I'm just gonna wash them off. I have fresh mushrooms in the sink um, in cold water right now because we're going to use up that as well. <laughs> yeah, it's already, it's very early in the morning and it's already very hot. So. I want to get this cooked and give it a chance to cool down and then I'll set it in the fridge. Now you guys can see these green peppers, they're being cut very chunky and I'm not putting them in. They're not going to be, they're going to be a light um, crunch to it. They'll be steamed, but they're, I do want a crunch. I don't want them to be soft. You know what I mean? But the carrots will be fully cooked and just trying to get all the seeds out of there. We're going to cut this nice and chunky too. This will add just beautiful flavor to the stir fry and and because it's still going to be a little bit crunchy, it's going to give it that refreshingness. And I do have to pick a uh, fresh green onion from our garden this morning because that's going to go on top of there. And you guys see, so I put a whole onion in and it was a large onion in there. But when this is all cooked and ready to roll, I am putting in a full um, or half of a raw red onion. And that also gives it such beautiful, beautiful flavor. But I have my fresh broccoli ready to steam. I got some mushrooms here I need to cut up. I always wanted to wash wash these mushrooms up just to, uh, okay, I can put the green pepper over here. So let me cut these into four, I think should be good enough. You want them not too small, like you want them kind of chunky, but not too, see, one mushroom into four pieces. That's the perfect biting ratio, I find. And I think I could be wrong. This one was kind of big, so we did it into six. Any really big ones, we'll do it that way. But I'm pretty sure this is how the Chinese restaurant does their beautiful stir-fry mushrooms. I think they just cook it this way because this is the closest texture that I've gotten cooking myself. And I, I love it. My husband loves it. 
I usually do this dish with um, noodles and it just is perfect. So the dish that I'm in charge to make today is the rice dish. So we're going to make it and we're going to make it amazing. So I got to get the lid and let that cook. All right, guys, over here I just have water in my pot and I have the instant, the cheapest rice I, I could find. That's the only rice we buy. And then you just, I put what I'm thinking is enough and I'm thinking that's going to be enough for what I need today. Now I will tell you a good tip that my aunt does when she cooks her rice, she cooks it in chicken broth and I'm telling instead of water and it really adds so much incredible flavor but it is high in salt. So today what I'm doing for the flavor, Caesar dressing, great value. I'm telling you it's going to be infused with a beautiful garlic taste. That's about three tablespoons full and we're not done. Now we're going in with the fresh dill. You want fresh dill in here, and I'm gonna be generous. You see? I'm being generous with that dill. It's going to add so much flavor into this rice. People are gonna say, oh my gosh, what the frig is in here because it tastes so good. So all you do, just give it a good mix. But a lot of people don't think to use a salad dressing in their stuff. I use it on our pizza. Now I'm going to put that to boil. Let it cook. I got to check the carrots because as soon as they're almost done, we're going to add the broccoli and the, uh, oh, that's ready. Ready to roll. Let me set this lid down. Can you guys see? Look at that beauty. So now is the time for the green pepper. And let's get the broccoli in to steam it up. We don't want the broccoli soft, but we want it steamed. Any big chunks I should cut right now. Like. You know what I mean? You don't want somebody getting a big chunk like this. You want to make it spread spread out it evenly but this is such a healthy delicious meal there just get it going so that you can cover it because now it's going to steam the broccoli is going to steam cook and then that's done the rice is going to boil and then that's going to be done and we're going to put it in one nice big dish together but there's so much nutrients and vitamins and beautiful food in here it's going to be a refreshing summer dish. Easy to make. All right, guys. I have the camera help. <laughs> My hubby's helping me. So I drained this, and then I put about half a cup of honey garlic. But look at all those beautiful fresh veg. Now, the broccoli is steamed, but it's not soft where it's going to fall apart like mush. That's one thing I do want to be careful about. So this is just going to sit in the honey garlic and absorb that and soak up the flavor. Um, me and my hubby just tried the rice. And to me, it's incredible. It's still cooking with the lid on, as you guys can see over there. Just show them, boo. It's We did a test taste. What did you think? Your honest opinion. Good. Yeah. Good. Honestly, the flavor was amazing. Okay, I love you, boo. All right, guys. So I just wanted to show you. The stir fry part of it is done and it's going to just absorb that beautiful honey garlic flavor. Look at all the veg. If you had snow peas, that's another amazing thing to add in here. Snow peas. Oh, it just really brings it to another level. But I just used what I had and I think people are going to like this dish and I've been doing dishes along the way. So I got to finish up the dishes, clean off the counter again because I made a mess. But I'm just waiting for this to all be finished and I can put it together in one big dish. All right, folks, I just want to let you know I will be doing a video of what I got my best friend for her birthday. Her special day is tomorrow. I have her things right here ready to roll. I'll be visiting her tomorrow. And I'm seeing her today, but we're not celebrating today. We're celebrating tomorrow and I, I will do a video of what I got my best friend. Okay. 
I want to show you I we went to the thrift store yesterday it was such a blessing because it was so quiet in there there might have been three people the parking lot was empty and I found two items I spent a total of $14 and I'm going to show you those two thrift finds right now are you screaming because I love gingerbread houses I've seen many different soap dispensers of a gingerbread house none of them compared to this one right here I absolutely love it let me turn on the flash so that you guys really get to see the color is this not a scream look at the icing on the chimney with sprinkles and then we have smarties like oh my gosh look at the front it's such a beautiful brown chocolate and then we got tons of vanilla icing and candies on the side here we got the peppermint poles some christmas trees like this was an amazing find i could not have been happier to find this blessing and i'm just fair warning now i ain't just hauling this out at christmas i'm gonna be washing it filling it and it's going to be in use now and forevermore. <laughs> so it says this was from Sears and the original price was $11.99. I don't know what year it was, but I'm just glad that I was able to hit this because if it had been on the shelf a while, I'm sure somebody would have picked it up and treasured it as much as I am. So I was glad that I'm the one that got it because it is a scream times 50,000. I love it I love it and it's ceramic it's really good quality there was no chips no breaks and it's a great like dispenser so I'm super pumped literally I'm pumped <laughs> this next item that I'm about to show you I didn't even know this was a thing I did not know this existed so let me just show you are you screaming this is 12 inches hi this is beautiful i don't collect santas and i don't keep santas in our home i won't be keeping this for me but i'm telling you how freaking rare and beautiful and unique is this so this is a mercury glass 12 inch santa claus and he is stunning look at there's a nutcracker here and then he's holding his purple sack and it is full look at the teddy bear there is tons of presents look at the colors the vibrant colors it, i mean it's absolutely phenomenal look at that and you can see some of the mercury glass paint has been chipping but there's no cracks there's no glass chips whatsoever it's just paint kind of adds to the charm but on this side, he's carrying a tree and a lantern. How cute. I mean, when I saw this, I was, I had to contain myself. I was having a hard time. And there was like an older lady in the same aisle as me. And she saw me getting so overly excited. And she came over and wanted to see. And I showed her. And I was like, I didn't even know this existed. I know they have the, you know, the small tree ornament mercury glass ones. I never knew they had the big ones and this is a rare find and it's a stunning find and this is all that I paid $6.99 that's it so I have some options what I'm going to do the very first moment that I seen it right away I thought of one of my aunts now the aunt that I'm thinking of she collects Santa Clauses her home at Christmas literally looks like you're at the North Pole at Mrs. Claus's cozy little home she has it decorated head to toe the, she has so much decor and the way she decorates is phenomenal and I just thought of her when I seen this I thought oh my gosh if I could surprise her with this I think she would scream now she does have so much decor that I know she's not collecting or buying any new stuff so that's the only thing that's kind of making me hold back is like, ooh, this is a pretty big piece. And 
it's another thing she's going to have to store. And would she use it? Because she has so much. So that's the only thing that's putting me on the edge. So my second option would be definitely to post this and sell it. And I would make a good profit. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. Even with even with the um, the paint being lost, some of it, it's still a stunning statement piece. Whoever does have this in their home, wherever they put it, I guarantee you it's going to be fully noticed and appreciated. It's the detail, the colors. It's just, it's amazing. And I don't even like Santa Clauses. I just thought, now this is a unique piece. I mean, I've never seen it before. Just the little tiny ornaments for the tree. Also, my best friend, her uncle, he is he's right into the old vintage different decor as well and i thought he also crossed my mind when i seen this piece thinking oh my gosh i bet you he would freaking love this too it's absolutely beautiful